What's up wizards? A really weird thing happened to me on Twitter yesterday and I want to tell you about it. I posted a tweet pointing out a problem with TypeScript in React and Dan Abramov, one of the most high profile members of the React team, looked at my tweet and said, we should fix that. And he asked me, do you have any more issues with React and TypeScript you can think of? So this is a call to action. Let's fix TypeScript and React together. But first, let me show you what I found. Use ref is kind of messed up on the type level in React. Let's say we've got a hook and we're importing use ref from the top. We can create a ref by saying const ref is use ref. And we can assign to it by saying ref.current equals whatever. But immediately when we try to do this, we get an error, which is type one, two, three, blah, 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 is not assignable to type undefined. That's because this ref hasn't really been given a type. So we can assign it a type by passing it a type into here. The weird thing is if we add null inside here, then this is going to start erroring at us. The reason it's erroring is because now current is apparently a read-only property. So just by adding null inside here, we've suddenly made current read-only. You might think, oh, these types are probably reflecting some of React's actual behavior. But no, not so much. React doesn't care whether you pass in null or undefined. The behavior is exactly the same. So why the hell is just passing null creating a read-only ref here? Let me show you a different example, one about a component. Here we've got our ref which is coming from use ref and if we try to pass it into this div here we're going to get an error. This error is pretty long and hard to read. Type mutable ref object is not assignable to ref object. What we can do is we can actually copy and paste this and stick it here which kind of helps. Or no, not so much because we actually also need to pass null into here. What? Why? Well, null means that this ref ends up being a read-only, like not a mutable ref, which according to the team that wrote this code means that you should just let React handle it. Because without this null, then you could do something like this, let's say, which is just to create a random div element and put it in the ref. Like if we change this to undefined, this now suddenly works. And so you're supposed to understand that on the type level, if you put null there, then that is something that's managed by React, not you. So say it with me. If you put null, it's read only. If you don't put null, it's mutable. This, I think, is a pretty silly rule because it doesn't reflect actually what React does. And I think the purpose of TypeScript is to describe JavaScript, not go beyond it. So what's the fix for this? Well, what you can do is you can just change a few type annotations in the React types and it starts working. A bit of background here. The React types are not actually managed by the React team themselves. React is written in Flow, which you may not have even heard of at this point. But it's a way of strongly typing JavaScript that used to be sort of fairly prominent before TypeScript just ate its lunch. So in order to make React work with TypeScript, there's an external team that handles the typings for React. These are mostly just open source contributors who just, you know, want to lend a helping hand. The React team is getting more involved in there, but there is still a bit of a disconnect. So hence why when I tweeted about this on Twitter, Dan Abramov was like, Really? It behaves that way? Anyway, here's the fix. Behind the scenes, I went around and changed a few of the typings. So you no longer need to pass null into use ref in order to pass it to a HTML element. You are free to mutate it just like you are to do in normal React. And I think this more accurately describes what's actually going on in JavaScript. So this, I think, is some low hanging fruit that you can improve without actually changing React's core itself. I want to know from you, what else should we look at in this same light? What other problems are there that you have with TypeScript and React that we can try and fix? Because, you know, Dan Abramov has asked me to take on this challenge and I shall not shrink from it. British stiff upper lip and all that. If you liked this video, but you were a bit like, I'm not sure what happened there really, then you should check out my Total TypeScript beginners course. It takes you from absolute JavaScript newbie to, you know, I can go get a job with TypeScript and it's totally free. So, you know, do it. I'll have another video that you can watch here and a little face that you can subscribe to here and do comment below on the things that you find annoying about TypeScript and React. Let's try and solve it together. See you very soon.